we have two things we're going to be learning today on this tutorial so one of which is of course this sleeve and the second one is basically a precaution which i usually take when i'm making a pencil skirt or a bodycon dress with a slit behind so if this sounds like something you want to learn um, please stay tuned till the end of this video uh, if you're new here my name is ifoma i'm a fashion designer and a pattern dress maker and you're most highly welcome to my youtube channel without further ado let's jump right into this tutorial but then yeah here you know you're subscribed i mean what are you doing what are you doing please subscribe to my youtube channel subscription is free obviously don't forget to like share with your loved ones click on the dumbbell so you get notified when i post a new video So this is the fabric we're going to be using. The length of this fabric is 24 and the width is 33 inches. So you can see I've already done this. This part is going to be for the other sleeve, which is more like the off shoulder sleeve. And I started off by measuring three inches. So basically we're going to be extending this and I proceeded to measure three inches. So whatever measurement you see me marking there is basically three inches till we get to the bottom of this fabric and I'm going to be extending my lines. So one thing I want to tell you guys or I want you guys to know is um, you can choose to work with four inches with of length or three inches. Um, or two inches it depends on your preference and how you want your ruffle sleeve to appear but personally i'm working with three inches and this you know worked perfectly for me so i'm just basically going over to extend my three inches all the way and i'll do this till i get to the bottom length If you're working with my calculations which is three inches um you're going to be left with eight boxes we're moving forward to the length of this and we're going to be working with three inches also for the length so we're measuring out our three inches and this will give us a perfect square so all those small small boxes are like perfect square i noticed that um i had missing clips so while i was editing this i had to refilm another tutorial which is with this fabric so what we're going to do we're going to skip the first two boxes as you can see and we skip to the third box and we mark we skip the um fourth box and we mark the next line so if you pay attention this video is self-explanatory and we're moving over to the next line we skip the third line and moving over to the fourth line and for the fourth line we skip the first box only before marking and then we continue the process and you're going to see how this turned out skipping the fifth line we're moving over to the sixth line and for the sixth line uh, we skip two boxes in front so we're just basically repeating the whole system and we did nothing to the bottom parts i basically just showed you guys the fabric over the shower anyways this is what it looks like and this clip is from the original fabric of my client i'm just cutting off the excess bottom i don't like that um english mouth showing at the bottom so i just cut it off and now we're going to pinch this like so connecting the two side we marked and we're going to sew this to eat our sewing machine so I went over to my sewing machine just to show you guys again what I'm doing. So I pick one edge of our perfect square and connect it to the other edge just like so in the video. And I'm going to be sewing there. You could use your needle and thread but uh, I wasn't fancying the whole hand stitching stuff. So I went in with my sewing machine. It's not necessary that you use your sewing machine. You could just do this with your needle and thread if you like to hand stitch. So guys this is what is looking like right now and i'm loving the outcome so basically for all the boxes we have um we have marked the line in between we're going to be doing the same method for all the boxes basically Once 
once all of that is done i took my regular sleeve that looks like this and i basically just trim off a bit so that um the top of this will rhyme with the top of our regular sleeve so guys i went over to run a loose stitch double loose stitch so that i'll be able to gather the top and the bottom so i did the same thing for the top and also the bottom so i'm basically just drawing this just to create the gather effect and once i was done i went over to check um if it was suiting into the sleeve shape like if the amount of gathers was enough and it was fitting into the regular sleeve shape one thing you need to know about this regular sleeve shape is that um it's not a shaped sleeve is a loose kind of regular sleeve so guys the same thing you did for the top part i'm going to repeat the same step on the bottom part i place this right side facing each other and i'm going ahead with my pin just to pin that in place before heading off to my sewing machine and sewing that down so after running this with a straight stitch this is what it looks like and the next thing for us to do is to connect the top of our lining sleeve to um, our ruffle sleeve so we're going to be pinning this down first before running this with our sewing machine All that is done and the next thing for us to do is um, to close up the sides and one way you could do this is by creating little pleats by the side of your sleeve so one thing I must say is there is no special way of pleating this when you're pleating the side um, you just pleat the excess basically and you pleat and you check your measurement also check so you don't end up pleating a lot more than you should so once you're done pinning both sides um it's going to look something like this and you go back with your sewing machine and run a straight stitch on the both side also so you could be able to take out your pins and it looks something like this next step we're going to close this together like so and go to our sewing machine and run a straight stitch also when we come back it looks something like this and our sleeve is already coming to life i'm going to turn this inside out so this is what it looks like so guys this is what the sleeve looks like and basically you can see that um, one of the sleeve is going to be hanging off shoulder like it's going to be off shoulder for one side of the sleeve we're moving over to the back sleeve and the elastic width we're going to be using is 0.5 inches width elastic and over there i already cut out 1.5 inches and i'm pinning that down but i would recommend you don't do this you use one inch like when you're cutting out the length of your elastic you cut out one inch i was trying a new method to see if um it works and i'm going to be showing you why i said you should cut out just one inch so basically when i pin this i'm going over to my sewing machine and sewing at the end so one thing i must say is when i did this i noticed that the space in between this is much which is not supposed to be so um i usually do this method but i just try to like diversify and try and do this at 1.5 and i ended up with a big space in between so i would advise you to cut out one inch use one inch and then fold it exactly like this video you get to have a thinner space and i'm going to be showing you what that thinner space looks like in the second um, dress my clients ordered from me so 
so this is the second dress my clients ordered from me and if you notice the fabric is different um this is the elastic when you do this at one inch this is how small it looks and close up this is what it looks like on the other side you could barely see this um so yeah this also helps protect your slit from splitting or tearing your slit is going to be intact i promise you and then this video with a clip of my client rocking this dress and it's absolutely stunning thank you guys for watching